Well, folks, today we have an update on the Nintendo Switch to delay and the situation surrounding it. Some details from the actual memo, some updated stuff there. Also, some now kind of rumored things about a major developer just now getting development kits. But actually how this might be a positive, depending on how you look at this. If you're uh, certainly a gaming fan that likes leaks, you're going to think it's a positive. If you are instead Nintendo, maybe it's not so much, or if you're someone who hates leaks. But regardless, we got some new rumors today and also some information coming from Video Game Chronicle in regards to Nintendo Switch 2. So go ahead and strap your seatbelts in and get ready for a bumpy ride. Now, this first one comes from a person known over on Reset Era as John Hawker. That is his username over there. And he is a well-known and well-regarded Ubisoft insider slash leaker. He has leaked a ton of things from Ubisoft over the years, and all of it's been true because, well, for those who don't know, Ubisoft is like a leaky faucet. It's inevitable, right? Ubisoft constantly is leaking things all the time. I mean, sometimes it's so bad, we just assume it's entirely intentional. And this person went out there and said this over on Reset Era. Some major partners only got dev kits slash specs very recently, and this was in a Switch 2 thread. So what I find very fascinating about that, of course, is that Ubisoft is a major partner, but if they only got the dev kits recently, that has led some people to believe, well, geez, if they only got the dev kits recently, then no wonder this thing is 2025. Also, it could be argued that, well, maybe Ubisoft only got the dev kits now because they're a company that leaks. Like, things leak out of them all the time. Nintendo knows that. Uh, the interesting part is we already knew that dev kits were in hands of many, many major partners all the way back in, you know, what, September, July of last year. And even some had dev kits before then. Ubisoft not getting them till now, though, is again, because the company, literally like everything just leaks out of the company. They can't seem to keep any secrets. Uh, and Nintendo is well aware of that. That doesn't mean they're bad developers. It just means that I don't know, their staff isn't very respectful of NDAs and all of that, right? If all this stuff keeps getting out all the time, clearly it's a company-wide issue with not respecting NDAs. That being said, uh, this is good news for some of us because assuming Ubisoft just got the dev kits, probably within a month or two, a lot of things about the dev kits might actually start to come out online. Things like exact specs, as an example, or if there's specific feature sets that are there. Granted, dev units, you know, aren't always going to have like the finalized software, but they can let us know, you know, some things about it because they're developing into the software level. So there are going to be features and stuff likely to leak out of Ubisoft if they just got their dev kits, because again, this is just something that happens with Ubisoft. And it's probably why Nintendo didn't get them their dev kits until the thing is much closer to being revealed, because at that point, Nintendo might not care. Like, let's say stuff begins leaking in, I don't know, two months around April or May. They're not really going to care if they're about to reveal the damn thing in June, right? So that's one of those things where it's just, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But I do suspect we're going to hear from Nintendo in May about this system. I'm going to explain that in a moment because Andy Robinson, you guys might know who he is. He is a well-known uh, journalist with lots of breaking stories. He's broken a lot of big news out there. And he actually had a podcast, the Video Game Chronicle podcast today. I think they actually had it yesterday, but it just got posted to YouTube today. Either way, there's a few details in that podcast, and I'm going to let Andy Robinson speak for himself. As we all know, right? So I was I was looking into this story last week, and there are a bunch of other journalists I know were also looking into this story. Um, because they, this is what happens, right? I mean, I always see, like, when one of these stories comes out and then a bunch of outlets all jump on it, I always see people, like, on forums and Discord and stuff, like, going, oh, how comes? I hate it when they all say that, you know, they all corroborate each other and blah, blah. It's because we're all working on the story. We're all chasing the same sources. What's happened is Nintendo has briefed um, uh, publishers that they're now targeting Q1 2025 for their next console. Um, and they obviously know it's going to leak eventually because you tell that many people, someone's going to tell someone it's going to trickle down and blah, blah, blah. Now that's really fascinating and cool, but do you really understand what he just said? Because there's more in there as well that I didn't put up here. You guys can go ahead and, you know, go check out that podcast. It's only 48 minutes long. Uh, and I'll maybe I'll even provide a timestamp on where things start, but here's the thing. 
I want you to understand the context of what is going on. He was working on this story already, okay? He, he says this in there, that he was working on this story already for a while before the news broke and was chasing down leads for confirmation, and they were the first outlet to actually corroborate the original reports. He did state plainly what Nintendo told their partners. This is the key thing, what they told their partners. It wasn't have your games ready for Q1. It was Switch 2, which are his words, not Nintendo's, is coming out in the first quarter of next year. So again, it's one of those things where to eliminate the confusion, they weren't told to have their games ready for Q1. They were told that's when the system is coming. Now, he also noted in there that he believes Nintendo actually made this decision in December or January, as some contacts of his knew about this news before last week. It just took a while for that news to eventually trickle out to the press behind the scenes likely as more and more developers got the notice from Nintendo. This is this is something Eddie Robinson puts out there. This also confirms Nintendo didn't send out that notice all at once to every developer with a dev kit. Rather, they have just been slowly letting everyone know about the delay over time. So that's quite interesting that Nintendo didn't just blanket send one out, but then again, maybe they wanted it to be handled by regional offices, right? So it got sent to like Nintendo of America, Nintendo of Brazil, Nintendo of Europe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then those regional offices decided when to send the news out. And that could explain why it's kind of just hitting developers at different times and why there might be some developers today that don't have the memo yet, likely going to get it here in the coming month. That being said, there was an original plan, supposedly. This, this is now just... He's just throwing this out there that this is what Nintendo told the developers. The original plan was to tease Switch 2 in March and do a full blowout in June. And all this memo really looks like it did was shift everything th by three months. Now Nintendo is telling developers through this memo that they are going to do a teaser reveal in June. Now, if you pay any attention, and this is just me speculating, if the original plan was teaser in March, blowout in June everything shifted three months, then you are now looking at teaser in June, blowout in September, which is also a typical Nintendo Direct month. Pretty interesting if that is what Nintendo's gonna do because that's all anyone's gonna talk about all holiday season long from Nintendo is gonna be what's at this blowout. Clearly Nintendo's sort of, you know, throwing the holidays away, just prepping for that early 2025 launch. Uh, some interesting stuff as well, just to kind of put out there is they, and they note this in their podcast as well, that does Nintendo actually intend to release this system around the time Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out? Uh, because Grand Theft Auto 6 is a system selling level game and obviously is going to move PlayStations and Xboxes. And if it's not on Switch 2, let's like just get the assumption that it's not there. Man, Nintendo's actually planning to launch Harbor head to head with one of the biggest game launches of all time. I, I, I find that to obviously be a fascinating point if Nintendo does do that. That also might be why Nintendo may not wait till March. They might instead release it in January or February rather than March to just kind of avoid potentially bumping right up into Grand Theft Auto 6. Also, we have to entertain this possibility as well. And they didn't discuss it much, but they did say, well, unless it's on Switch to... If Grand Theft Auto 6 is on Switch 2 and it's a launch game on Switch 2, imagine how many Switch 2s are going to move just because GTA 6 is there. Especially if it runs really well and looks really good. A mobile edition of GTA 6 day one on brand new hardware. That would be a pretty big deal if Nintendo was able to get that locked in with Rockstar. You would presume Nintendo would. Nintendo's got lots of money. They could use that to try to convince it to happen well, who really knows? Nintendo does the beat of their own drum, and they don't really care what third parties are doing most of the time. But Grand Theft Auto is sort of a special situation because of how massive that franchise It's like launching a new Minecraft. It's just that big of an IP. So it would be interesting. Maybe it is going to be on Switch U. Maybe it's not. Maybe these things are going to be running right next to each other at the same time. I don't know. Uh, so that is something to take into consideration, at least. As for my, uh, my opinions... As I always say, my opinions are always willing to shift and change as new information comes in. And I consider that we're obviously talking about rumors in the first place, technically, but these are from very reputable reporters. So take it for what you will. I, for my, just, just my peace of mind, I'm just going to say that I personally now believe in these reports and it's coming in early 2025. 
because the biggest clarification I needed was what exactly was in that memo. And it looks like he just spilled the beams. The memo included things like, hey, this is when we're planning to do the tease of it now. Hey, this is when we're launching the system. That's really what the memo was. The memo wasn't about their games being ready. It was letting them know when the system's going to be ready, which makes a lot more sense because Nintendo can't dictate to companies when to release games. Uh, that was something that was weird in my assessment that, hey, maybe they just want some companies' games coming out later. I'm like, yeah, but can Nintendo like really force enforce that? You know, I, I, they could, but it'd be really weird. So this makes a lot more sense. Nintendo did what the reports, you know, all say, hey, system's coming out first quarter of 2025 because that's exactly what the memo itself said. And with that being out there and it being spread among so many developers and obviously going to hit all of them that have dev kits here eventually, I have to believe it, right? So it's an internal delay. Uh, that was not the plan. The plan was to come out this year, to tease in March, do a big blowout in June. Now the plan is all shifted by three months. Is it that big of a shift? No. But when you think about going from 2024 to 2025, it feels emotionally like a big shift. Like, oh my God, we've got to wait another year. Well, no, it's still going to be revealed this year. It's just, you know, we got to wait till the calendar to turn again. So it is what it is, guys. That is what's out there. You let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Obviously, if all of this is true, how does it impact the rest of Nintendo's 2024? Is it going to be a pretty light slate? Yeah, there'll probably be some more remasters and stuff coming at a new Nintendo Direct at some point. But uh, even if that stuff happens, it's still going to be, man, you know, where's all the new games? And uh, I guess we'll start seeing teases of them in June with a teaser trailer for Switch 2. So... Stay tuned. I hope the teaser trailer isn't at the end of June. It would be nice if Nintendo would be nice to us and do it in the first couple of weeks so we could just get, get it here quicker. But uh, the reason, though, uh, just to bring this up before we sign out, I wanted to mention that we'll probably hear something actually for the first time in May as Nintendo has an investors meeting. Uh, that investors meeting is to close out the last fiscal year and get their projections out for the next fiscal year. And if they're projecting that they're going to end up launching the system, chances are they're going to have to mention that. And so instead of them just outright saying the name of the system and stuff like that, what I fully suspect Nintendo is going to do is tell investors and thus tell us publicly that they are planning to tease the system in the following month. I fully suspect we're going to hear Furukawa come out and be like, right now we're not going to take any questions on our next system. However, uh, because we are projecting it to release this year and it is part of our revenue pro uh, this calendar year. So because we're projecting it to release this calendar year and it's part of our fiscal projections, I will inform you that we are planning at the moment to have a event to give some information about this system in June. And I think they'll just sort of leave it at that. Uh, so they'll kind of pre-announce that this thing's coming, but uh, they won't tell us the exact day, just a month. Has Nintendo done stuff like that before? Not necessarily, uh, but it is my expectation since May is so close to June and they have to give accurate financial projections to their investors. They're, they're required to do so by law. So if there's going to be a new system, they're going to have to say something, even if that something is, hey, next month. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Maybe we get the code name. That's one thing Nintendo could drop. Maybe they, they re refer to it by a code name. Uh, that that very well could happen. We typically know the code names of all systems before they're revealed. So we'll see. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for standing by me. No, I won't be afraid. Oh, I, I won't be afraid just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, 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 stand by me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just stand by me.